Hello friends, I made this very simple scarecrow and I will show to you the tutorial of how I made this. First, I will use a jar. I got this from Dollar Tree. I will paint this with the Waverly Sandstone, showing you on the video of how I applied the paint. I dab it using a foam brush. I painted this twice. I applied two coats. I have to dry the first coat before apply, I apply the second coat. Then using a fan brush, I will apply Mod Podge and this is how to seal the paint. So it's not gonna come off over time. So once dry, I have five inches of the raffia. Actually, um, I have five inches, a set of five inches of raffia, four inches and three inches. So first I am going to glue the five inches. And once I covered the areas I want to cover with the raffia, I glued the four inches, the set of four inches. And then um, once covered with the four inches, I have three inches as well. This is the three inches. And then I will also put that on top of the other raffias. So that is how I made the hair of my scarecrow. A very simple craft, everybody. If you like to see more of my craft ideas, please go to my main page. Please click the like. Don't forget to click the like. Please sprinkle the video and give me a follow so you will be notified when I go live and you will be updated of my future craft. So now I'm going to cut this piece. This is going to be empty jar and showing you in a video is a piece of cloth. It's all up to you how, how big the cloth is for as long as you're going to leave a space for the face of your scarecrow. So that is what I'm doing there right now. I just glued it there. You can choose also any kind of cloth you want. Then I am going to glue this part here. I love how this turned out. It's very cute scarecrow. I will set this aside and then I have this piece of cloth. I will glue the sides. I am going to make a small pocket. Everything here is optional. Whatever you feel like putting on your scarecrow, whatever color of cloth, I coffee stained all the cloth that I use. If you want me to send you the grunge mix, please uh, send me a message in the comment section so I can give you the grunge mix. Of, of course, I love to coffee stain my cloth because I love this dress and vintage look. So once this is done, I will glue the sides, but not the top portion because I will put something there. So I will put it in a in an angle. So I will set it aside. I will use this burlap cloth. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I use the paper plate to measure my cloth and then I uh, just trace the size of the jar onto there and I cut it. So now I will use the Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel to paint it. I will only apply one coat. I am using a chip brush for this. It doesn't have to be chip brush. And then on the other side, I will also apply one coat with the Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel. This time it will make it a little um, hard because of the paint. And I have this 8 by 11 inches of burlap cloth. I will paint this again with the Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel, but not on the other side, just one side. And now I will start to draw the face of my scarecrow. So this time this is optional. I'm not going to show to you how I finish the face because you can make your own face of your scarecrow. So now I have the face of my scarecrow. I'll just put some white dots there just to have a little glow of the eyes. I'm using the end portion of the brush, small brush. And now I am drying it. I made also the, the, the mouth, which is smiling. 
and I am going to put this scarf. You can use any piece of cloth you like and like I said, I've mentioned earlier that I coffee stained this as well. Very simple. It's all up to you if you're going to make this something like a container of something. I just uh, showed to you how I made it. So it's not going to be hollow. You can put other like newspapers in the inside. And it's really a very cute kind of scarecrow. Now it's time for me to put the burlap that I made earlier. I am going to glue this. Just as simple as that. You can use, if you're going to make a craft like this, you can use any size of um, jar. There are bigger jars. Then I will apply glue on that a part there. So I'm going to put the 8 by 11 inches of burlap cloth that I painted with the Burnt Umbra by Apple Barrel. So that's what I'm doing there right now. I am attaching it. I glued the, that area there on the back. And I will just adjust that part there. So now I will uh, tie this with a jute twine. Just as simple as that. So you can decorate your own hat, whatever you like there. This is a very simple piece, but it's pretty for your uh, fall decor. Then I will um, tie this. This part here, I'm going to tie it. So there will be something like a bun. Tie it so tight. Just like that. Then I put the sunflower on top and put a piece of button. So such a pretty craft, everybody. I like how... I really love how it turned out. Very simple to make. You, uh, you can see the face of the scarecrow. I just put the wheatgrass there and a little of um, dry flour. So that is really very nice. I love this very much. I hope you may follow and take... Uh, till next time, friends!